Final Moon Volume 52. Let's go. All right, guys, Vinyl Moon uh, Volume 52, Fluorescent Visitors. I'm really excited about this record. I can't wait to see exactly what's all on it. The cover or the, the artwork looks amazing as usual. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right. First off, first things first, it looks like we have all of the songs and artists and lyrics so this looks interesting as you guys can see here i'm really excited to see what this is all about it looks by the cover art it looks really cool so i'm excited to see what kind of music is actually on here now let's go ahead and open up here i love this metallic look oh that looks really cool as we open it up we can see Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That looks really cool. That looks really cool. So let's go ahead and see what all comes with it. As we open up the gatefold, it looks like there is... Looks like a little poster here. As you guys can see a little better there. So it's a box with a light beaming off looks really interesting I'm really I'm really interested just to see exactly what what this is about this it definitely looks cool but let's check out the record guys I know that's what you really want to see that's what you'd come here for and look at this beautiful record it's black vinyl with this pink Oh, that's going to look amazing on the turntable. That's going to look amazing, guys. We'll take a look at this beauty. Wow. That's going to look great on the turntable. So I'm really excited to hear what this record is all about. Volume 52, Fluorescent Strangers. Oh, man. This is this is awesome. It's already got, it's already got me hyped. As always, I'm going to go ahead... And put this on the turntable, guys. Fluorescent Strangers, Vinyl Moon, Volume 52. I'll let you guys know what I think of all the songs. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Vinyl Moon, Volume 52, Fluorescent Visitors. It was definitely different, guys. It was definitely different. But I'm going to start off and read you uh, what it has on the very first page here of those song titles and lyrics. It says, Volume 52, Our world is full of mysterious forces. That much is true. But what do these forces mean? How does it all work? From each new mystery springs mirror new questions. And our natural inclination of for order pushes us to seek answers. We really love answers. Answers are organized. Answers are black and white. Answers are clean. Since the dawn of thought, beings have tried to interpret or explain these strange forces through song, art, storytelling, religion, and waking dreams but not all answers are universal perhaps the individual interpretation is what really matters here the mystery is the answer the messiness is the meaning the pain is the destination or not who knows we rarely get clarity in life don't expect to find it here just enjoy whatever you do find emerging from the dark woods of your mind as you sink into these songs and i i would have to say there was a 
there's a couple great songs off of this mixtape, but let's go dive right into it, starting out with the very first song. The name of the artist is Wild Orchards. The name of the song is called Recovery. Um, and it was an instrumental only. Uh, it had a very like sci-fi, almost 80s kind of vibe. Uh, very mysterious. Loss in translation, dreamland. I honestly think it's a great first song to start off with and it honestly remind me of a stranger things kind of vibe like the very first song absolutely stranger things kind of vibe to it um that's all i could think about when i was listening to it the second song ether teeth fifth season so ether teeth is the name of the artist fifth season is the name of the song uh it was a melodic sound uh to me it sounded like there's something missing uh in his life uh knowing that you know You'll eventually die someday, hoping that the fifth season is like when you die. Um, it's after death and there's something more. So that's what I got out of the song. Um, it, to me, that's what it sounded like he was talking about. Um, and the next song inside a third song, the name of the artist is called Modern Corso. The name of the song is called Oil and Vinegar. It sounds like um, the song was about he has regrets of some things he's done in his past possibly in a bad relationship and he's just kind of sitting back and regretting some of those things uh that he's done in the past um and the next song the name of the artist is called luca longombardi and the name of the song is called small leaves um it was a piano piece of instrumental only um and it's very classical very classical piano um and it was a really cool song Moving on to the next song, the next artist, the name of the artist is called Skis. The name of the song is called Ages. Um, and it was an electronic piece, but let me tell you guys, when that instrumental, or sorry, when the percussion came on, it hit so smooth, um, and it was just this gratifying feeling whenever I was listening to this song. Best song inside A, hands down, no questions asked. Uh, best song, at least to me, uh, inside A. Moving in into side B, uh, the next artist is Millie Eon, and the name of the song is called Twinkle. And it was a more of a trap hip hop instrumental, and I really wasn't expecting it. Um, that's some really deep sub bass sounds. Um, the thing is, some of those uh, bass, like the bass in it, and some of these hits, um, it sounded like it was actually clipping on some of it. Not the whole song, but definitely there was a few parts where it sounded like it was just too loud and it just was clipping. And I don't think it was my record player. Um, seemed like a lot of the rest of the song sounded normal, so it was just that song. Uh, moving on to the next one, uh, the name of the artist is called Dustin Hill. The name of the song is called Dreams. Um, it was a hip-hop song. Um, to me, the song uh, sounded like it was about living his dreams uh, of being famous and making it. Um, and even you know, even when he's sleeping, he's, he's dreaming about it, but it's actually a reality, too. So that's what that song was to me. Uh, moving on to the next song, the next artist's name is E.K. and Horn. And the name of the song is called Take My Hand. Um, uh, to me, the artist lost his father. Uh, and the lyrics really made it sound like, you know, don't worry, take my hand. Th those were the lyrics for the most part. Um, and I assumed it was about his father, you know, guiding him along the way, like letting him know he's still there. Um, it was definitely had a synthy kind of poppy sound to it. And the vocals were like just out there and spacey. The next artist, Dylan kid and the name of the song is called ceiling fan um the very beginning of the song it sounded like the claps were off of beat um in the beginning just the beginning um but basically staying at a little place or apartment isn't so bad and how you just make it used to it um and you can kind of take that as also um whether it's an actual place a physical place or just being an, an introvert kind of being yourself being alone um, and you kind of just enjoy that and you don't want to move into a big place or be around a lot of people. So that's what it sounded like to me. Um, then uh, moving on to the next artist. The next artist is Johnny Burgos. The name of the song is called These Hands. Um, the song uh, was to me was about not giving up and using what you could, you know, get your hands on to succeed. Um, and sometimes you might have to get your hands a little dirty, uh, dig yourself up out of the ground and, uh, you know, make it in life. So that's what the song was about to me. It was cool. Uh, good meaning behind it. 
Moving into the very last artist, Will Henson. The name of the song is called Patterns. Um, it was an instrumental only. Um, it sounds like it could be more of a hip-hop song. Like a hip-hop instrumental, almost. Um, but the beat, it seemed very basic. It was very basic, and there wasn't a lot of movement. I didn't really enjoy it that much. Um, if I would have to rate all of these songs and rate the one that I like the most, I would absolutely have to go with uh, the artist Skis. Uh, the name of the song of that was called Ages. Um, I would have to go with that song. Ages was amazing. Um, I just love when the actual percussion hit. It sounded awesome amazing like it really sounded good i will definitely be listening to that song a lot more um because i liked it so much just really good um and honestly that was it guys that is the end of vinyl moon volume 52 fluorescent visions um i would have to say a really good mi mixtape there I, it was really cool different sounds and i like the kind of meaning behind everything it's just there's a lot of like things that we don't know out there and it's kind of about finding your way so i really did like it um definitely i thought it was cool Re really cool mixtape i love the way the artwork is i love the way the record looks vinyl moon you guys do once again i praise you every single time you do an awesome job of that artwork really cool finding those artists out there and getting them to do the artwork always a great job well, guys, that is it. That is uh, Volume 52. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. So again, my name is B.A. Definitely uh, check me out. KTM uh, Casey Blue. You can go on my Reverb Nation, SoundCloud. Uh, I'll have all the links, Facebook links, all that stuff down in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time.